Welcome to Cartel Tycoon, folks. Cartel Tycoon came out on Steam yesterday. We have been playing it before, but I thought since it came out on Steam, uh, let's uh, try it again, see what's been going on. It's been a while, so I'm a bit rusty, but that's okay. We'll jump into... Oh, this is new, Story of Sandbox. Well, let's try Story Mode then, I guess. Or what? Huh. Story of Sandbox. Story of Sandbox. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll go Sandbox. I think I'll go Sandbox. Let you guys play the story yourselves. If you want, we can always go back and try the story modes uh, later. So... Let's see, Jesus, uh, let's change that. We can choose between Jesus and Felix. And I think I'll go with, hmm, let's take a look at their skills. He has power, laundering volume, increases money laundering volume by 10%. That's actually pretty nice, but we'd need his power in the beginning, I think. Assassination, Cannabis Cultivator, reduces cannabis production until well by 30% in an area. Access to Workshop 2, Robbery, or and Coordinator, unlocks ability to attack or defend all buildings in range. Okay. And you have Assassination, Opium Cultivator, reduces opium production until well by 50% in an area. Power. Access to farm two, access to plantation one, kidnapping, more power, or robbery. I think we're going to go with Felix here, and we're going to take his power. Uh, then we'll take assassination. And... Access to Workshop 2, and Coordinator. So that's who we're going to be. And we can... Can we randomize where we start? We can. Uh, huh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just randomize a couple of times. Los Grandes. Uh, hmm. That has a seaport. And the soil is opium, cannabis, vegetables, coffee. Well, I guess we'll do that. Cotilla uh, y Cristal. What do we want our... logo to be hmm there's a lot to choose from kind of like that one let's do that one and we'll be called Cuchilla y Cristal let's start and we will use you uh, override all right into the game we go i am excited for this if you're excited for this why not hit the like button leave a, uh, a comment tell me what you think how are we doing and if you're not subscribed why not hit that subscribe button as well, notification bell, so you know when new episodes are coming out. Let's quickly pause here. All right, so we're starting in Los Grandes, which is not bad. We have absolutely nothing set up. So we need to set some production up immediately. The prison isn't in the game yet. The airport isn't in the game yet. Uh, uh, there was a military 
bank barracks over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. And that is not in the game yet either. All right. Good to know. So, what do we have? We have a hotel here. That's new. Okay. And it actually encompasses the airport. Uh, then we have um, Mayor Orson William Blake. All right. So, Cindy is under control of us. So, the mayor must be our puppet. All right. Well, the first thing to do is to get some production set up. So, let's see, farm, and we can basically only do opium right now. Whoops. Let's just come up here. Farm. We have very nice opium fertility here. So why don't we build over here? Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take a quick look at fertility for cannabis. Uh, we have cannabis fertility over here. Uh, coca. We don't really have fertility for coca in this area. So, okay. What about the legal stuff? We have veggies pretty decent there. And we have coffee decent over there. Okay. And the seaport uh, we would like to open as soon as possible. But let's get started with a bit of opium, shall we? And we will jump in here. Not enough dirty money. Oh, that's because I need to switch to clean money. That's a new f feature that I haven't tried yet. So we'll stick you down there. How is it you rotate? I uh, can't remember. Is it... Nope. Is it... Nope. Set an X. Okay. So I think we'll build two opium farms for starters like that then we'll build a warehouse out here where we don't have fertility well, let's build the warehouse somewhere like there then we'll need roads and you can go to there you can go to there and then we need roads out to the airport as well. So let's do that. I do love the music in this game. Okay. And then we need Felix. Uh, well, we don't really need him to do anything yet because we built this with legal money. All right, we're all built. You need an additional destination uh, there. Do we have a residence here? We do not. So how much will it cost us to build a residence? Uh, we, oh, we need to research that. So this is very hands-on in the beginning. Let's move over to the warehouse then. Let's speed up. All right. So we are producing now. So you basically just need to deliver the money when we get it to the town. Let's build some sandy roads here as well. I think that'll be good. Uh, 
Okay. So the question is, how much open premium will we get out of this? Uh, we do need to build a new buildings. We need to build a research center. Build. Maintain city control first. I thought we did. Move over here. Okay, so we have a tiny bit of cash stored up. A tiny bit of cash. All right. Uh, buildings. Build. All right, so we have our research center constructing. Oh, the airport actually. Oh, that's the hotel. The hotel stores it up. Nice. All right, we need to build another building. We need something that can launder money. Uh, I'm thinking the casino. It's expensive, 25,000, but. Let's do it. What the heck? Move over here. Someone is attacking our airport. We are actually losing. No, we're winning. We're winning. Good. But this will bring the terror up, which sucks. Uh, recruit lieutenants. Mm, let's see. Four power. Deliver. That's nice. Make a deal. Access to lab three. Coordinator. Okay. Julio. Deliver and make a deal. Power one. She has five plus power. Power. Burn building and power. And you have deliver and opium cultivator. I think I want to recruit you. And you move over here. Let's get these guys killed as fast as possible so that we don't raise our terror level too high. Okay, good. Let's turn you on. We have 1,820 dirty money. Our casino is ready. We'll move Felix back in here. And you deliver. Uh, actually, no. You move over here. And you'll deliver money from the hotel, I guess. So why is this yellow now? Losing control in two days. Okay. So we have to have a lieutenant there. Wow. Okay. Why we want to launder money. I don't think this opium is going to cut it. Uh, why? I don't have the dirty money for it. Right, let's wait a little bit. Uh, are we keeping up with the opium here? How much opium can... Can we transport? Eight uh, logistics. So we can smuggle 26 opium. 
and we're getting nowhere near that. We are getting nowhere near that. So I think we can stick in another opium farm. Yeah, let's uh, build another farm. There. And we'll stick in a sandy road. Something like there. Okay. We have some dirty money now. And I like the fact that the airport or the aerodrome automatically delivers it to our uh, to our uh, casino here. I really like that. Has our uh, research facility been created? It has. I think the first thing I want to do is research. Uh, farm tier 2. Let's research that. Right, so there's 12 opium coming and another 8. So that's 20. If we can keep it at around 20, I would be happy with that. Yeah, I'd be happy with that, I think. Let's start laundering some money. Has an upkeep of 900 per 12 hours. That is insane. We need to launder a lot of money. Searching farm tier two. It takes seven days. That is insane. So the eighteen hundred and twenty that we're we're bringing in a day or so is actually not enough because that's basically enough to keep the casino running and nothing else. This might just be a bust immediately. Alright, farm 2 has been researched. Which means that we could upgrade these and switch to cannabis. We'll upgrade them, for sure. And we could switch to cannabis, but then we need to dry it. And we don't have drying racks yet. Alright, we got some... laundering done. So 14... This time. And how much is there now? Nothing. But there will be 20. And how much do we have stored here? Five. Casino stopped operating. No, what, let's keep the casino off for a little bit until we build up a little bit of money. This is a slow start, man. And some bastards took the seaport. All right. But I guess in order to hold that, we need to hire another lieutenant. Uh, He's free. Can I see my organization? Not really. What's our economy look like? 
15,300 in building upkeep. Expenses of 15,300. Income is 19,110. That is nothing. We are making very, very little money. Oh, but look at that. 2,184. Nice. So there's 6,000 there now. Okay. Sixteen hundred thirty-eight. Oh, Twenty-four is coming over there now. All right, so that's better. Now let's see what it would cost to research drying rack. Oh, only eight thousand. Let's do it. Our le legal money is dropping, but I'm just waiting until we have a decent amount of money that we can uh, launder. Because 900 every 12 hours is expensive. Very, very expensive. All right, there comes another 24. We have 9,452 in there right now. Okay. All right, we have a decent amount of dirty money now. A relatively decent amount, I'd say. Let's start you. We could actually switch this over to being dirty money. Oh, they don't have any dirty money, so that's a problem. So if they're to be operated by dirty money, then we need a residence in range, I think. Okay, let's see. I wish I could go even faster than this. All right, dryer one. So if we take a look at drying racks, it costs 3,500. Uh, before we build that, let's switch you over to cannabis. There's not much efficiency on cannabis here. 30%. So actually, maybe we'll keep you on opium. Casino doing all right, we got some clean money. So I think we'll keep this on opium. And where did we have cannabis? A nice cannabis area here. What? Let's set up over here. So these cost 1500 each. Uh, let's set up here. One, two, three cannabis farms, and a drying rack. And a warehouse. OK, 
Okay. Let's get some roads in here. Don't do that. All right. And you can go there. And then you can go up here. And you will have an additional destination uh, there. And once we start delivering that, which we are now, then we'll turn off our opium farms for a bit. Well, let's them, let them finish this cycle. There. And there. Because the aerodrome can only do... Can only do one product at a time. Hey, you turn off. Okay, uh, I think we'll tell you to deliver to the drying rack there because we have 57. Uh, cannabis. So let's try and get that over to the drying rack if we can. Uh, you are full. Let's turn one of you off. I think we need to upgrade our... I think maybe we need another drying rack. Right, let's turn you off, turn you on, so that we get this stuff delivered. I think we need to upgrade our warehouse to tier two, but we can't afford to right now. We have 25 dried cannabis. And we can do 10, so we actually, we're actually producing too much. Let's turn off two of these farms and see how that does. Uh, let's, it's not going to do it, is it? So let's just say the aerodrome. Well, that gets delivered, and then we'll turn this off as well. So there's 2,900 on its way. Let's start this operating. Okay. Efficiency is only 12%. So one farm is not enough. It seems like to me. It seems like one farm isn't enough. But how are we looking over here? We have 25 stored up. Hmm. So, I guess I didn't really explain, but um, we have the warehouse here. Everything has to go through a warehouse to be sent to somewhere that we can sell it. So, we can't just take uh, the cannabis here directly to the drying rack and then uh, send it on. It has to go uh, farm, warehouse, drying rack, warehouse aerodrome so everything needs to be connected to a warehouse it, and these don't actually need to be connected to a road as you can see well they need to be connected by road to the warehouse but they don't need to be connected to a main road or an uh, access road or anything like that we have 23 stored up now the casino is almost done that gives us a bit of money to work with how's the economy looking now Income 44,000, expenses 35,000. 
36,000. But you can see dried cannabis has already overtaken uh, the opium, which is good. And it's going down very slowly, which is fine. Okay, so what we could do is we could research the workshop one. Can we actually already build a workshop? Uh, production? No. But as soon as we do research this, then we'll have research uh, workshop two available, which just makes it work fast, work faster. But that's fine. And once we have a workshop, then we need another lieutenant so we can take this back and. Then we'll set up some farms to make veggies and send those down here. Package our cannabis with veggies, send it down here to be sold, and then we'll turn these on again. You can be turned off. And then we'll be send selling our opium here and our cannabis down here. And you can see we can ship 72 packaged vegetables uh, every four days, which is wonderful. All right, so we're running out of cannabis up here now. So let's Turn the second farm on and you can see we have these three red exclamation marks, which means that they are holding more cannabis than they uh, than they are allowed to that they have storage for. So it's overflowing, meaning that it's uh, getting attention from the authorities. But our terror level is very nice, nice and low. All right. So we have a workshop now. We have a workshop now. And it seems like this is holding up okay. So let's see farms. We have veggie fertility here and here. Uh, if we go up to two, then we have coffee fertility there. So I think we'll do veggies down here. And we'll need another warehouse for that, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So we'll build, I actually think we'll build a veggie farm, just one, uh, because they produce extremely fast, uh, not a workshop, a uh, warehouse, and we'll build the warehouse somewhere like here. And then we'll build a workshop. I think we'll build the workshop up here. Hmm. Or will we? This is closer. Oh, you know what? I think we'll build the workshop down here. something like that and then we need some roads which is also something that we need to research all right and we want to do dried cannabis together with vegetables and then we need a sandy road come down this way and then this needs to go to the workshop instead
And the workshop, workshop has plenty of veggies. It's just the dried cannabis that it needs. So are you going? It does not seem like it. Oh, there isn't a road to it. That'll explain it. There. Here we go. Right, and that means that we can now turn these on again. And are we packaging? We are packaging. So, in one veggie pack, we'll have three dried cannabis. So we need to go take this now. And I think we'll send both our guys down here. Uh, wait. You move down here and then we'll move both of you down here down here okay and this is quickly we're quickly losing control of this airport which really isn't great but very soon We'll have this. Let's recruit a lieutenant. What can you do? Access to warehouse two. You know what? Uh, uh, deliver and make a deal. Let's recruit you. And truck supplier he has as well. Yeah, let's recruit you. Julio. And we'll, Julio, you move up here. We took that, so Felix can move back in here, keep control of the town. We're gonna need another drying rack. Let's build that. Uh, material reproduction drying rack. It's already connected. We simply need to upgrade our warehouses. All right, so now we need to bring some dirty money down here. So you move over here, deliver uh, some dirty money down here, and then stop delivering. And then you move back up here, and as soon as we get some dirty money in here, we'll turn this back on again. Turn back on. Right, so we have control of our area, and you can be turned on now, and this warehouse has an additional destination of there. Okay, so now look at that 24 veggie packs already ready. That is beautiful. Uh, don't you have... It does. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, wait. Uh, you... Need an additional destination down there, and you don't need this 
at this little destination. So it was just regular veggies that we were selling. Don't want to do that. We want to sell our product. Okay, so 72 veggies, 114. But the packaged veggies is 20,880, which is wonderful. Why are you turned off again? Turn on. We need you to make legal money for us. I think maybe we can turn this on now that we have two drying racks. And then we really do need to research warehouse two. Because we are running low. But once this 20,000 comes in, that will help. And our workshop is packaging. We can upgrade it so that it can package even faster, but we don't have, really have the dried cannabis for that right now. So I think we need more cannabis farms. Though this warehouse is having a hard time keeping up. A very hard time keeping up. Really need to upgrade the warehouse. Oh, our money came in. So you will do deliver dirty money to you. You'll do that twice. And then we'll stop the delivery because we need some money here to keep this seaport operating, I think. Though it doesn't look like it has a cost. It doesn't look like it has a cost. How much is the cannabis selling for? Two ninety dollars peeps. Not bad. Oh, look at cocaine. 750. I really love this game. Uh, it's so cool that you're playing in the... It's basically in the 80s in, I guess, Colombia or Mexico or something, running a drug cartel. Basically, you're uh, Pablo Escobar, only your name is Felix Vigo. So... Man, the warehouse just can't keep up. It just can't keep up. It's insane. I was already looking over here. We're looking okay. Look at all our dirty money here. So what we could do is tell some of our buildings to be paid by dirty money, but we need a residence to bring money over to them then. And we don't have access to a residence just yet. Okay. Let's stop that. Delivery. All right, so we have 12,000 on here. We could definitely do with some more production, but man, uh, I'll give you a raise. You can't get promoted because you're already at the highest rank. So I'll give you a raise. I really want to see our organization. I like that. 
So we have Felix at the top up here. He is El Jefe. And then we have Luca uh, Teniente here. And then we have an Halcon. Uh, oh, well, what uh, deal can we make with uh, with that guy? Let's take a look. Make a deal. Deliver 100 units of dried cannabis for a 10% bonus. Let's try it. So now we have a deal here. We need to sell 100 units of dried cannabis. And basically... We have 42 on here, and we have seven, uh, well, 21 in uh, in these veggie, pa veggie packs. So it's, I think we'll be able to do it. There is a time on it, so we have 13 days to do it. But I think we'll be capable of doing that. I think we'll be capable of doing that. Let's see. Our legal money is just dwindling, man. Because this is so slow in laundering it. And we can't research for dirty money. We need a warehouse tier 2. So the question is, should we turn this off? save some money so that we don't have those expenses because we can't launder the money fast enough anyway and i think we should let's turn all of this off for now so now we have almost eighteen thousand, but it'll take seven days to launder 12,600 and we're paying 900 every but that's dirty money right yeah that's dirty money so that's actually fine where is all our dirty money do we have so much dirty money down here no we only have 15,000 uh, we have 23,000 at in Los Grandes at the, at the hotel. Why do we have 23,000 at the hotel? I guess because yeah, this guy is delivering it. What's the reach of the hotel? It's pretty big. So I wonder if we told these to be paid by dirty money, these guys over here, would the hotel then deliver dirty money to them? Let's try it. It doesn't look like it, does it? I think we need a residence to do that. Man, we really need to get this uh, research done. But we'll have to get it done in the next one, guys, because we are out of time. Uh, we can turn off you as well right now. Though, it doesn't look like we have an upkeep here. Fried cannabis deal complete. Beautiful. So much dirty money. There's 26,000 in there. There's only 18,000 in there. Let's. Uh, actually, let's move you over here and then we'll deliver some dirty money over here. And then we'll move you back in town. What's this? Farm stores, it's full, I know. Our terror is close to the next level but it should go down a little bit uh, 
I mean, is the does the terror uh, level increase from overflowing? Uh, Unlawful actions and your public notoriety. Uh, attention stars, city mayors. Okay. Hmm. Right, we have 19,000 now. 18. Man, so many expenses. So we have 140,000 in income. Most of it from dried cannabis. 24,000 in character upkeep. They're expensive dudes. So we have 50,000 expenses. But the problem is that we are not laundering our money fast enough. We're simply not laundering our money fast enough. What would it cost? To build, let's see, uh, that's not really, we might want that at some point, but not right now. Uh, Launder 600 every two days. That is not a lot. 2800 every two days or every three days. Mm. 2800 every seven days. 1800 every two days. 5800 every four days. 11200. Uh, bank, 30,000 every nine days. Now that is nice, but that costs 50,000. Can't really afford that. Mm, can't really afford anything, really. But we need to be, to think about this carefully, we need to get the most efficient ones because we are, we only ha have room for these one two three four five buildings so i think i want a bank here so we'll just have to save up for it we'll just have to save up for it but we'll do that uh, in the next one guys because we are out of time so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoy uh, cartel tycoon and if you do i would really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button subscribe as well because it really helps me out a lot and i really do appreciate it if you have comments suggestions uh, criticisms of what i'm doing then please feel free to leave those as well i read all my comments and uh, i reply to by far the most of them so yeah thanks for watching see you next time